Stormy, it's time for the tea party. <laughs> I've got one. Why is a raven like a writing desk? Please don't dawdle, Alice. We're very late indeed. You've gone quite mangy, Cat. But your grin's a comfort. And you've picked up a bit of an attitude. Still curious and willing to learn, I hope. Wonderland's become quite strange. I always want to find her way. As knowing where you're going is preferable to being lost, ask. Rabbit knows a thing or two, and I myself don't need a weather vane to tell which way the wind blows. Let your need guide your behavior. Suppress your instinct to lead. Pursue, Rabbit. Our land is destroyed, our spirit crushed. Reminds me of the asylum. Is there no joy here? Slavery and happiness do not dwell in the same house. When the path is problematical, consider a leap of faith. Ride the wind. Cheer up, no trouble, stranger. The Red Queen's agents are ruthless. I'm not afraid of her or her creatures. Never was, really. You should stand up to them. Defiance is useless. While the Queen reigns, only death can release us from this misery. Or her death, I suppose. Meta Essence is the life force of Wonderland. That of your enemies is especially potent. Collect what you can. Use it wisely. Your knife is necessary, but not sufficient. Always collect what's useful. Reject only your ignorance, and you may survive. One seems completely dejected. Are things really as bad as all that? The truth would reduce you to a blubbering baby. Are you the savior Rabbit has been telling us about all this time? I shouldn't think so. I'm a person. 
and just now I wish to get very small, about this big. Calls for serious twisting. You'll need to go sideways, not forward. If I knew how, I'd go sideways myself. Not twisted, small. I wish to become about this big. The fortress adores hold such secrets, but it will take more than a wish to get inside. Doors have locks. Locks need keys which you don't have. Let's hope the doors are open. And if not, there may be more than one way to skin a cat, if you'll pardon the expression. Most unpleasant metaphor. Please avoid it in future. Only a few find the way. Some don't recognize it when they do. Some don't ever want to. Rabbit told us a champion would come. Are you that champion? Perhaps. Can you get me inside the Fortress of Doors? Oh, no. I wouldn't dare. Since the upheaval, we've all become gutless halfwits. I can barely risk crossing the road. But make your way to the mines, the deepest pit. There's one wiser and braver than myself who might help. He still lives free. Every adventure requires a first step. Try to put true even here. Why do you pursue me to this deserted place? To benefit from your wisdom. Even blurred vision is valued by the blind. If I were clever, would I cower in this slag heap? I'm not wise, girl. I've just grown old. I wish to get very small, no bigger than a mouse. Do you know how I might do that? Only that? Oh yes, I could manage that. For a price. I have nothing of value. You have nerve and your health. Mine are nearly gone. I've seen too much suffering, and I smoke too much, you see. What must I do? In the card guard's compound, a particularly rough diamond holds a key. Retrieve it. I will repay the favor. Have the key. Very resourceful. Rabbit's confidence is not misplaced. He is no fool. I certainly hope he is not. 
Use the key to free my clan from the oppressive burden they carry. Any fight against the Queen's tyranny is a good fight. They've suffered... I'm sure I'm very sorry for them, sir. Really, I am. But what about me getting small? There's a school inside the fortress where you'll find certain items for creating a concoction that will make you small. What items exactly? Items. Items, girl. You'll know them when you see them. Uh, speaking of seeing things, we should avoid the card guards. No, just hang on. Ah! Eventually, must break through such walls. But for now, jump! The guards are tools of the Queen. All suits are dolts, but dangerous. Time to raise some havoc. The dogs of war are loose. Entering school requires a real leap of logic. Here's a riddle. When is a croquet mallet like a billy club? I tell you, whenever you want it to be. There's a bit more to do than you suggested, don't you think? No need for sarcasm. I admit my memory's not what it was. But I'm here now to try to amend its deficiencies. The library contains a recipe for the potion. 
consult the book of bizarre things. Oh no! Run! Steps to enlightenment brighten the way, but the steps are steep. Take them one at a time. There's no lock, but it won't open. It's stuck. Treat it like a Chinese box or a stubborn lid. A tap in the right spot might do the trick. You call that a tap? Fortunate I didn't suggest force. You might have pulverized it. Mushrooms, poppies, sugar and spice, all those things are very nice. When combined, the proper mixture makes a getting small elixir. Hmm, I don't really like sweets. <gasps> the gymnasium should be safe. Guards never exercise, can't afford to lose the weight. I never cared for sports at school. I don't have to put on a pinny, do I? No, it wouldn't suit you. I've recalled one of the potion's ingredients, mushrooms, lovely texture. What's that? that I passed by. Meaning what? I was about to say you're lucky to have found me. Look, I found the last ingredient, sugared spice drops. Whenever we meet up, seems I also find a bit more trouble. Seen any jumbo grow about? There's a bit in that flask on the sideboard. You see, we're set. Bring back some poppy blooms and we'll mix up the potion. This condenser can mix the potion. Doesn't look like it's good for much else, though. Now time to leave, but not as you came. Go by way of the observatory. This stars for your stellar performance. May open some doors for you.
What's all this then? Did someone die? Have you lost your family? No, my shell! The Duchess stole it and tried to eat me for lunch. Nobility must be served, I suppose. <laughs> Stop that wailing, won't you? You're very cold-blooded for a mammal. I was almost soup. Tragic, I'm sure, but I'm a bit pressed for time. Have you seen a rabbit? Hmm. Twitchy nose, shifty eyes, constantly consults his pocket watch. Most peculiar beast. Well, he's very dear to me. I must find him. Caterpillar could help, I'm quite certain. He knows everything there is to know. And where does that smushy layabout hang his hooker these days? Since the troubles began, he's in hiding. I couldn't divulge the secret. I couldn't risk telling you... without something in return. Risk nothing, gain nothing. His whereabouts, then, for my shell. The Duchess won't part with it willingly. Then she must do it unwillingly. I'll teach her manners. You are brave. But I warn you, she treats everything as prey. Don't I know you? Bill McGill at your service. Call me Larry. Or not. Have any brandy? No, I've only my wits. Then you have nothing. Wits are useless here. Everything is downside up. I must see the Duchess. Impossible. She only sees those who don't wish to see her. That's not right. She's perfect. She's supposed to be hiding from the Red Queen who wants her dead. Her head? That too. Ruins me, old Bill, this monstrosity. She's mad as monkey mash and just as tasteless. Well, never mind. We'll all perish soon enough. Sure you've no brandy. I'm here to retrieve the turtle's shell. I won't leave without it. Won't you indeed? Stick your thumb in her eye, what? Your devoted servant, Mum. I owe her a bad turn myself. Follow me. My little chick, mm, properly seasoned, you'd make a handsome dish. I'm not edible. Not a full meal, certainly, but a light snack, I think. I'll have the turtle shell now, you disgusting ogre. Over my dead body. I'll try to accommodate you. I'll have the leeches in to handle this mess. At least my shell's in tolerable condition. A simple thank you would have been nice. I've kept my part of the bargain, Turtle. Fair enough. I'll take you on a trip. 
Hover around my bubbles. Cuddle up to them. Never leave them. You'll muddle through. Finish what you start, please. Remember, you're just a visitor. We have to live here. I'm not on holiday. And I'm not ungrateful. You're an honorary reptile. Lucky me. You'll think so when you're underwater. Taking your sweet time. What do you mean? You're the one who didn't wait. I have reasoned. Forget reasons, they're useless. Caterpillar is waiting. I remember him well. Thin skinned, ill tempered, smokes too much, disagreeable smell. Why do I need him? No one's wiser in Wonderland. Only he knows what you must do to save us. Now follow closely. The way is treacherous. We have so far to go and so little time to get there. Strange how quiet it is here now. I don't like it. Caterpillar is just beyond the clearing, Alice. Let's sacrifice stealth for speed. Everyone I love dies violently. Unnaturally. I'm cursed. Why go on? I'll just hurt others. No time for self-pity. Evade these savage soldiers and find Caterpillar. Go with the flow, whatever floats will do.
resuscitates an enemy more completely than deep wounds, but winter does not last forever. You've returned. But Rabbit never told me why. And now he's gone. Why? Wonderland is severely damaged. You must set things right, that's why. I barely recognize this terrible place. What is it to me? It's home. Well, it could be. Having lost what you loved, you nearly wiped us out. You've started to rebuild. Your task, however, and your pain are not over. Why must I suffer? Because your mind is fouled by self-deception. Even your fantasies have fragmented into tortured versions of themselves. You are racked with guilt because you survived. And you dread the prospect of a life alone. What do you think I must do? Destroy the Queen of Hearts. Wonderland and your entire world can become whole again. I need to rest now. You need to regain your human size. Grow up, Alice. Embrace the truth. Travel to the fungiferous forest, now, and nibble from the mushroom of life. Take great care. The voracious centipede jealously guards it and rules over what you require. Pathetic and wretched excuse for warriors. Form a line. Bring the intruder to my den. I will punish her insolence and dispose of her. Trusted toadstools, but I suppose some must have their good points. I wish I were hallucinating. What a horrible choice. Eat a toadstool or remain food for insects. It's rude to eat and run, but sometimes it's unavoidable. 
The dimensions of this desolate tract are unknown to all but the inhabitants. Only one path will bring you to the end game. Jabberwock's eye staff is incomparably powerful, but its individual pieces are worth less than the carcass of a gnat. <laughs> to destroy the palace filled with malice is the daring work of noble Alice. An endgame with the Red Queen is possible only after you crush her sentinel, the vile, fiercelicious, and vengeful Jabberwock. Without the staff that bears his name, destroying him is the hopeless work of a wasted life. I have one piece of the eye staff. Where are the others? Scattered throughout the world, when you have them all in hand, checkmate is possible. The Pale Royals may be of you. Obscure allusions to chess are fine, but it troubles me that anonymous oracles know more of my business than I do. Since you know the moves, best play with whites. They go first. Such order in the midst of chaos makes me woozy and disoriented. The regularity of the board disguises the predatory menace of certain pieces.
Help us, please. The Red Queen's forces are strong and show no mercy. Our own queen is in terrible danger. I saw her captured. I'm sorry. Without her generalship, Red Winds were doomed. As am I if I can't pass through this realm. I must collect the pieces to the Jabberwock's eye staff. Free the White Queen, Alice. That would help us both. I'm not really a player. What are the rules? Rules? There are no rules. There's barely any strategy. No time. Make a frontal assault on the Red Castle. I won't lie to you. You'll meet deadly traps and fierce opposition along the way. Should I be grateful for the truth? A lie or two might have been more persuasive. In war, truth first. There's always time for lies later. You won't face the enemy alone. Carry this soldier to the White Queen. A mere pawn is the best I can hope for? I'm afraid so. Now return as you came. The rooks know the way. Look straight ahead, or askance, whichever way you choose, you must always look in the right direction. This simple game can turn distinctly nasty. Don't ever play alone.
Look, Tom, it's what's the name from the neurotics ward. Nurse's favorite lunatic. Oh, yeah? Scrawny, ain't she? Who let her out then? They'll blame us most likely. She'll need more medicine. Strong medicine. She got anything to eat? Doubt it. She never finishes a grub at the asylum. If she had any meat on her, she'd make a delectable dish. Despicable, grotesque, and smelly louts. I'll fill your bellies, all right. The bigger they are, the harder they fall. Spare me the platitude. Do you have any useful advice? Use their size against them. I only take mine with friends. Count me to be among them. Accurately. I mean, honestly. That's the truth. Oh, I quite forgot. You and the truth are not unfamiliar terms. And you would know? Truth is always bitter to those who fear it. I fear nothing. False! You fear much. A return trip to the asylum, for example. The memories that drove you there. More years in, shall we say, supervised hospitalization? Ah, yes. You fear much. Of course, all that might be avoided. How? Tell me, what do you mean? Someone's come to release us! It's just a human. Probably useless. <sighs> Undo us, please, from this contraption. Or you could give us tea if you'd prefer. Were you impolite at table? Did you slap your tea? Or talk while chewing? Confess your crime. We've done nothing of the kind. It's the Hatter. He's gone quite mad, if I do say so. Speaking of which, how is the Queen of Hearts not like a typhoon? Both are powerful, destructive, and indiscriminately cruel. But the typhoon doesn't mean to be. Good answer. Wrong, but good. Oh, I beg your pardon. You are in real danger. Where is your host? Real danger? Are we? Really? Here, I wish to go home. Evidently, I've worn out my welcome. The Hatter will be here at six, sharp as clockwork. This is no opportunity to deny us our tea. Most cruel, I'm sure. And his medicine makes me tired. <sighs> What? <laughs> 
quick as mercury and mad from it. Find him on your own time, maybe sure. Those two seem to barely comprehend their situation. They're blithering idiots. But the Hatter does come at six on the dot. For his tea? No. To check his cruel experiments. With gears, springs, levers, and mechanical gizzards, he seeks an impossible precision. Like a watchmaker obsessed with infinitesimal fractions of seconds, or a mathematician who tries to square the circle. He'll turn all the inhabitants into his automatons, or kill them in the attempt. That's simply awful. Six o'clock, you say? Six precisely, by that clock. Hmm. Perhaps six comes early today. Staff lacks only the Jabberwock's eye, though he has two, I understand he's quite fond of them both. I doubt time will change his mind. Speaking of which, where's the Hatter? This unique watch stops time, for a time. Unlike death, time moves on. Those who stood still with time move on also, unless they're dead. With gratitude, I offer you my services. Promise only what you're prepared to deliver. I am destined to battle the Red Queen. The outcome is uncertain. You won't fight alone. Permit me to serve as your commander. 
I'll muster the forces whose allegiance your courage and skill have already won. How shall we prepare for battle? An assault on the Queen depends on breaching the gates to her kingdom. Only the Jabberwock's eye staff can pry them open. If you open the gates, I'll lead the troops to victory. Let us right the wrongs of this world together. Recruit whatever allies you can, Alice. We'll need them all. I'll return with reinforcements. Take heart! The time for action has arrived. You should not waste a day. No lame excuses do you contrive nor tolerate delay. It talks like I'm on holiday, Cat. Wandering about, having a bit of fun. The Oracle's an idiot. Confront what frightens or offends you. Reckless or insulting talk should never go unchallenged. You, bizarre creature. I was beginning to like you. Like me or don't. But believe me, the Jabberwock must be eliminated now. Blow open the gates and confront the Queen. I don't have the final piece of the staff. Without his eye, how can it be done? I don't know, but you must. The situation is urgent. What good are you to me? I'm supposed to attack this ferocious creature, but I'm not even sure this is my fight. It's no one else's, Alice. Only you can save yourself. Save myself? From death, is that it? Is that why I've come here? I'm not afraid to die. At times I've welcomed death. Not death. What then? A fate worse than death? I'm not stupid. Don't make me think you are. Think what you will, but know this. You withdrew from your world after the fire because you could not bear your terrible loss. When you answered Rabbit's call, you began to emerge from your tragedy. Stay on this path, Alice. Save yourself. And you will save Wonderland. You will restore us all. What I've been feeling, I am beginning to understand. I broke this world, and only I can repair it. Go well, Alice. The Jabberwock waits. With Griffin as your partner, you have reason to hope for success. He's the strongest among us. of virtue. You and my dentist's assistant have much in common. You're habitually late, aren't you? Between your dim-witted daydreaming and your preen vanity, the hours just fly by. There's barely time for anything else. That the best you can do? Hurl second-rate insults, they don't hurt. Your family was expecting you to come to them, weren't they? Perhaps they thought you might warn them of the danger, being close to the source as you were. But they waited in vain, didn't they? And died for their trouble. We were all asleep. It was an accident. I... You selfish, misbegotten and unnatural child. You smelled the smoke, but you were in dreamland, taking tea with your friends. You couldn't be bothered. Your room was protected and spared, while your family upstairs roasted in an inferno of incredible horror.
Hurry, Alice. The eye staff is yours. The troops are gathered. Everything is ready. I'll deal with the Jabberwock. You are our champion. Lead us to victory in Queensland. Jabberwock's eye staff can pry them open. Ride the thermal drafts like a giant falcon. Turtle proved that being a reptile has advantages. Thank <laughs> you. 
time to jump in, time to jump through time. I'm dizzy. Destroyed her guardian Alice and avenged my death. Enter the ultimate battle. Must I fight on? Can't the Red Queen be persuaded to surrender? True words and logic rarely defeat evil intent. She is still strong, and so many have been harmed. They want revenge, which we call justice. She made this world, and she must pay. You must lead our forces against her. I'm not sure I know how to lead. Do your best, Alice. You can only do your best. You can always do... best. Forces are leaderless, and a battle has begun. Deliver us from this evil, or let us perish.
queen, the queen, my lower incisors for the queen. Where is that wretched creature? Only a few find the way. Some don't recognize it when they do. Some don't ever want to. Bravery and I are not on intimate terms. My natural curiosity is tempered with caution. Thus I've lived long. But now, ignoring my instinct to flee or fear by speak the truth without regard to consequence, your courage deserves no less. You've suffered great pain and you've caused some. You've endured deep grief and feelings of guilt, but you will be tested by a more wrenching anguish, Alice. There is worse to come. You and this Red Queen cannot both survive. You are two parts of the same... <laughs> with her head.
I rule Wonderland alone. Your interference will not be tolerated. This realm is for grown-ups. Raw, well-ordered, ruthless, careening on the jagged edge of reality. Self-pitying dreamers are not wanted here. They cannot survive here. You fear the truth. You live in shadows. Your pathetic attempts to reclaim your sanity have failed. Retreat to the sterile safety of your self-delusions, or risk inevitable annihilation. If you destroy me, you destroy yourself. Leave now, and some hollow part of you may survive. Stay, and I will break you down. You will lose yourself forever!